CPR, Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Akathemia University TV, a project of Akathemia University, open and free education and knowledge. Akathemia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. Well, it is uh, 22 hours and 40 minutes into the 28th day. Yeah, 28th day of September of De December, not September. Uh, this is the working of the mind when they're tired or when they're also distracted. Uh, I've been upgrading my notes uh, these last few days. Uh, up, more particularly, upgrading my notebooks. But as you upgrade the notebooks uh, and restructure them, uh, you improve your notes as well. More notes come in. And I was just talking with my dad about history because he does he does research as well along the lines of along the theological lines, the history of uh, of belief, if you will. Um, that you have to be careful when we talk about history because there are more than there is more than one version of history. So when you talk about history, you have to ask yourself the question: Well, whose version of history is this? And so what happens is, okay, you've got your official views. You get you're an author who's produced a particular book or a particular research or something like that. They'll come out with their theories. You need to ask yourself: Well, what other theories are are out there? How did he arrive at the ideas that he had, the theories he had, uh, based on looking at some of the resources that he may put forward? Sometimes the resources are not necessary, particularly if you're dealing with stuff that stuff that's rather obscure, things that are not necessarily popular in history, or in many cases they've been designed to be hidden. There's a large chunk of a chunk of history that's been designed to be hidden, and this is where the problem comes in, because. More often than not, your governments are not outright, they've always been lying to the people. There's a fair amount that's been hidden. And over the years, these archives that were sort of hidden were forgotten about. And they were basically scattered to the wind, and no one really knows where, oh, knows where they are. And it's almost impossible to reference them, reference to them because they... Because they don't really have an existence, or sort of, they don't have an acknowledged existence in historical record. They're sort of, the things that have been swept under the historical carpet. And it's almost impossible to have any formal reference to that, because they don't have any formal record of being, of ever existing. And that becomes a bit of a problem uh, when you're trying to work with these materials, is that, oh, these have never been seen before. And this is what happens is that sometimes they may have been seen before, but by a group of people who, have been, who are now long gone, and no one knows that they're there, or has ever seen them since then. And so they've sort of been, like, oh, forgotten about. How do you reference a, 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 a reference that has been forgotten about, and, and most people don't know really, really know where they are, or how to get at them in terms of reading through the materials. And this is where a large chunk of, you know, if you're doing the sort of the edge of exploration, this is a, 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 a large chunk of what you end up doing, but it's difficult to bring forward the references because uh, there really is no way to do it. And this is where I have to say, this is where you have to, if you have these interest, interests, take your notes and from your notes, do the research. The research requires, your notes require further research. They're not the end to research. This is your entry point. That's your beginning. And then you go from there. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And this is uh, also what I'm doing here in terms of talking to you, having the conversation. Because these are my notes. These are my verbalized notes. They're not everything. But there's enough of, uh, enough of a summary of what's going on that uh, uh, you have some idea of how to start beginning your notes. The verbal essays are the beginnings of uh, the sort of the, the the reviewing of the notes and seeing what information can be drawn out of it even further. In other words, in terms of looking at a coherence between different uh, points, this is where you get uh, indexing and in, in, in cross-indexing, cross uh, 
referencing and cross-referencing, uh, or how do different points and ideas link together? Uh, and is it you you do you do that through the uh, verbalization process through the essay process? And of course, these are rough drafts because they're not the final form. Uh, and you expect there to be mistakes and flubs and things you need to go back over and sort of repair the thought that was there. Anyways, uh, we're at the Yowie Vlogs. We're going to start all over our YouTube stroll all over again. And uh, we'll probably come back a little later on and uh, add another 5-10 minutes to the uh, next transition. So, see you then. Akatima University. Go beyond standard knowledge. Well, it is 20 hours and 21 minutes. into the 29th day of December 2021. We're starting off with a package opening and the beginning of the vlog. So we Wednesday is the day I try to take my day, my time off. So uh, uh, you do need to coast every once in a while. You can't always have the foot on the gas. And so here's the package. I have an idea what it might be, but uh, I thought I had everything open, but it didn't. <laughs> Taking notes can be cumbersome. You don't always know what you're going to get with it. Nice. This is a second uh, neck massager. Uh, I really like the first one. I still use the first one. But this one has a different ori orientation of the heads. So... Uh, let's see how this ends up working out. Uh, anyways, I just got a test coming in. I've got to come back in a bit to finish this up, but uh, i got to get the text. Well, I'm back, and I'm opening up the uh, box. I want to see what's on the inside and see uh, what it comes with. And once again, these, these things are a little difficult to open because... Uh, when they seal them in like this, particularly in, in, in a box as such, uh, a vacuum forms and it seals the package in tightly. And so you, you have to shake it. You have to shake it in order to get the cover off. Otherwise, everything is packed in there very tightly and it's hard, difficult to get out. Get this done. There we go. It's off. Comes with a standard uh, charger cord, but I have a, already have one here. So let's take a look at the, this device now. Again, six pads, but now, see, they're aligned vertically, so they uh, align with the vertebrae. The, ones, the other ones were like this, right? They, they went across. This is like this, so it changes the orientation uh, of the actual, um, of the massage. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. I do have a bit of reading to look to do and to look at uh, to see how this sort of configures. But otherwise, uh, I think uh, everything's uh, good to go, and uh, work work on it from there. All right, I will see you uh, in a little bit. Uh, it's time to start the YouTube stroll. Akatima University, go beyond standard knowledge. Well, it is four hours and thirty-six minutes into the thirtieth day of December. December. Uh, 2021, and uh, this is uh, near the end of our vacation day, the day we take off, and this is where we typically, uh, we cruise through the day, and cruising 
is mainly way is primarily here, anyways, about the efficiency model. Efficiency is about the easiest, the least is about doing the most amount of work with the least amount of energy. In other words, work could get done with almost no and no energy whatsoever, and so even while, even while you're in cruising mode, you're not necessarily uh, pushing. Uh, Pushing yourself to do things in terms of trying to get ahead or whatever is just you're just sitting back, you're in neutral, you're, you're you're coasting along. But if you have the right efficiency model, uh, you're still getting stuff done anyway. So that's what's been going on is that we're now uh, uh, been operating in coast mode. Uh, it's it's connected to the crash mode because. Uh, there just really, really isn't the energy to do much more than the, the basics or the minimum. Uh, and as long as you get enough done in the coast mode that, search, that typically produces a half decent day, then that's sufficient. And that's kind of what's happening. It just on the dream side of thing and dream side of things that the it's still kind of bizarre that there, there are still a lot of questions up in the air that I, that I'm sort of. I, I meet these uh, puzzle puzzles, these sort of questions that are posed, and I really don't know how to answer them. I don't know how uh, I feel about uh, what's being presented, and so I wake up in many ways in a confused state because I don't really know how I feel about uh, what I've been what I've been experiencing while I've been asleep. Anyway, that being said, I did watch uh, Carly's video t uh, today. Uh, it was her uh, uh, Christmas gift video, which shows what she got for Christmas. And she said, I don't really get much of anything for Christmas, but I did use, uh, I get guests every day, I did use my uh, uh, the neck massager here. I did use this. And did an amazing job. Because the blood, you call the red part of the blood, what makes the blood red is called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is, a, is contains, uh, and this is where it gets its name from, uh, hematite, which is a form of, uh, or it's actually an isotope, or a form of iron, and so it responds to electrical and magnetic fields. And that's how that uh, these the, these massagers operate is they create an, an electric and magnetic field uh, around the neck in in, in uh, on the back of the vertebrae that is that follows actually follows the vertebrae the other one goes lengthwise and in, in, in really activates the muscles uh, within the shoulder each has its own particular uh, advantages uh, to it in terms of how it does its massage. But each at the same time, because the the, the massage is electrical, it's, a, it's electrical stimulation. It interacts with the blood. It interacts with the uh, the hemoglobin within the blood. So you do feel a a, a shift in the circulation uh, that you wouldn't ordinarily have if you hadn't done the uh, massage, uh, or let's say you had the massage but you had it uh, with a mechanical something mechanical with with the rollers or blade or some form of, of uh, uh, you know pressure points and you know in other words it's not it's not it doesn't use electrical field it uses an impulses it uses uh, uh, the mechanical functions it does not have the same effect on the blood vessels uh, that the electrical does so it is it I'm happy with I'm happy with what I get uh, Carly thanked all those who watch, uh, and I'm very supportive of her. Of her. I, I hope I hope that she does very well, and I hope that that she continues on with YouTube. That basically, her struggle is going to be is to find a way to integrate what she wants to do with her life into YouTube, uh, and so that she doesn't necessarily have to miss out on life in terms of oh, I can only do YouTube. There's a way to integrate things to things. In you, there's a way to integrate. Let me go back and rephrase this. If you have two choices, sometimes you don't have to make one or the other if you can find a way to integrate the two together. 
If we can integrate the two together, then otherwise you find a balance that allows both options to work, then you can have both options. And this is something I hope that she finds that she has, that she's able to keep the Instagram, the, the, the social media option, particularly YouTube, and finds a way to integrate whatever she wants to do into, uh, the YouTube option. And this will sort of keep her going for, uh, however long she chooses to do, to do this. And I hope that she has, well, her, her mother has d done this for close to six, seven years, and, uh, she could take it even further. So, I think uh, she does have a good opportunity here. It's uh, better than most. Uh, a lot of people don't have this opportunity, and she is aware of this. But at the same time, she has a hard time with uh, some of the negative comments because there's always people who just pop by and say, "Oh, well, this is a selfish person here, always talking about what they got and uh, you know doing the haul and the whole bit." Uh, but each person has their good points. Each person has their bad points. Uh, and simply showing what you got does not sort of indicate anything uh, other than the person's happy with what they got. And that's what I typically see is that more often than not, it's not that they're greedy or anything like that. It's they're happy with what they got. And they're demonstrating how happy they are. They're sharing, sharing why they like what they will like. And, and, and they're sharing in, they're sharing in the excitement. Not necessarily, and not actually bragging about Oh, I got this and I got that in, in terms of sta a statement of, of, oh, I am better than you. It's not that at all. It's just sort of, they're, they're happy with what they, what they received. Even if they paid for themselves. And they're sharing their joy, their happiness with other people. But then there are people out there who are completely miserable. They do not have happy lives and they're there to let other people know that they're not happy and they're not going to be happy with you either. So. But there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about some of these negative comments. I mean, I got the comments that, man, he's, he, he's the creepiest dude on the, uh, on, on, on the internet, the creepiest dude uh, uh, online, the creepiest dude on YouTube. They don't know who I am. They haven't met me at all. The thing is, I'm not anxious to go out and meet them either, so... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, you know, I like where I am. And yeah, that's the thing is you have to be happy with yourself. You have to be happy with where you are. Appreciate the things that you have and everything else kind of just washes under the bridge. You know, it just, it doesn't have really the impact that, it, that, that uh, many people think it would have. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. I'm going to get my eyes are closing. The massage did an excellent job, and so oh, it leaves my body in a state that is, well, very uh, relaxed and ready for sleep. I'm going back into the other, other world. Let's see what adventures await me there. I said I'd love to vlog there, but I can't because there's, uh, well, there's no way to vlog inside your dreams. <laughs> All right, see you in the next transition. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha. Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life.